afternoon. My name is Victoria Clapper and I'm here in the MTC studio today. I'm here with the mass communication students and we are going to talk about broadcasting and streaming. It is not your grandfather's television anymore, people. <laughs> Can we introduce ourselves today? Who do I have here? My name is Savannah. Um, my name is Mary Beth. My name is Jaden. All right. So to start off with the evening, what has happened to the TV industry? How is it different? What, what have you noticed? Lots of streaming services. Yeah. It seems like everyone is creating a streaming service nowadays. And honestly, I don't blame them. And because of all of the influx of all these streaming services, you know, people are just, they're cutting the cord. They're giving up on cable because streaming is just, I feel like in every way, streaming is superior to the average cable television Absolutely. because everything's on demand. You can pick what you want. You can tailor your viewing interests as you go. And it's pretty inexpensive when you compare it to an, like an average cable bill. That's mm -hmm. true. You don't have to fuss with those cable packages. Yeah. That expensive $200, $300 bill in the mail. Absolutely. Yeah, in my opinion, TV is just boring because um, uh, I can get my tablet, can get my phone. Could go in the car, I could watch whatever I want, but I can't haul a TV in my car. Yeah, <laughs> you know exactly. What I'm saying? So I feel yeah. like it's just superior in that way the most, you know what I'm saying? Just because everybody everything is optics, so vision, you can't pick up your TV, so of course you're not gonna want to use it. That's right. So do you think TV is gonna survive? Do you do you think it'll go the way of uh, telephone booths? No, I don't think it'll survive at all. I think streaming's gonna eventually just overrule TV and cable and stuff because of it's able to go everywhere and you can't just pick up your TV like you said. And it had a good run, let's just say that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I think there are ways that they can sort of avoid their inevitable downfall or like make it less of a harsh blow by sort of like collaborating with these streaming services and trying to do like, you know, co-billing, payments mm -hmm. and stuff. Um, but overall, I mean, I think it's coming to an end, but you know, there's all we still live in the day and age of people who you know prefer cable television so I think we've still got a while to go before mm -hmm. it's completely done Agreed, for yeah. probably when they're boomers yeah <laughs> they're no longer in existence right. <laughs> so uh, what about YouTube and how does that factor into streaming you know it's more on demand and it's uh, you know you've got more amateurs yeah how does that uh, change the industry well YouTube has become it's it's grown exponentially um, you look at it back in 2008 and it's just people posting videos for fun, uh, getting some likes or I think there were ratings back then, they had like five star yeah. ratings and stuff. Um, and now we actually have these content creators who are making a living just Absolutely. producing their own content. And with the addition of YouTube Red, people have started making their own series and writing their own scripts and just, it's completely taken it to a new level, mm -hmm. I think, and YouTube really is just like a pinnacle of like what things can be, like the, right. the evolution of it throughout time and stuff. I feel like the freedom of it, the freedom of it is just so beautiful because now you don't have limits to your content, what you have to say, everybody has their views, everybody has their own lane, and in a way it divides us but unites us because you have people who do their own thing but they have somebody that they can relate to or a group that they can associate themselves with and now everybody's indifference and start to disappear. So I feel like the freedom of it is gonna start to get limited, but the freedom of it so far has been nice. It really has. Yeah. And uh, speaking of YouTube, I think we know that advertisements have, have made a strong comeback lately. Yeah. What do you think is the future of advertisements? Are they just gonna bombard us like they did TV or do you think it'll, uh, it'll change? Right now, Advertisement is weird because I'll be on my phone and I'll look up, like for instance, yesterday I was looking up different cameras and things and all of a sudden a camera pops up on my a advertisement. I'm, I'm just starting to think it's like weird and they're going a little too deep instead of worrying about getting their interest organically. You know what I'm saying? If your product is good, people are going to look at it organically. I feel like they're pushing a little too hard and it's getting a nuisance. It's becoming a nuisance to people. So I feel right. like it's going to be regulated in that term because the streaming services don't want to lose money. So. And I, think, I think you're right. I think the best kind of advertising is uh, what I think of as ET when they have the packet of, was it peanut butter M&Ms or whatever? Yeah. It's not like they threw it in your face, but everybody wanted it. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, intrusive. Yeah. Um, I also think like 
they're sort of hitting a wall with advertising because of like the development of things like ad block and yeah. even those websites who say oh please whitelist us like you can't access this article until mm -hmm. you uh, turn off your ad block there are developments in ad block that are making it available to bypass those so you can just get the content without the hassle of all the advertisements and sometimes advertising can be a sensory overload like you yeah. go to yeah. a web page and it's like ads on this side ad on, ads on this side we've got a header ad there's a bottom ad it's like it can get excessive but I understand advertising and I think that it's I think it's ultimately smart because mm -hmm. it does unite it's effective yeah, yeah. So they, they really need to work smarter instead of yeah. harder. Yeah, right. Yes. Definitely. There's got to be a compromise. There needs to be more collaboration. Quality over quantity. Yes. As it is do that. Absolutely. And uh, on a final note, what do you enjoy about the industry today? Just uh, TV. I know we've got the TV streaming services, but is there anything that stands out that you really love? The diversity in the industry, um, especially when it comes to, I guess, entertainment and um, people producing shows and movies and whatnot, like just seeing all of these different stories that are being created and all these different collaborations that probably wouldn't have been available to happen 40 years ago. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. And I think it shows a lot about how we as a society have progressed and also the progression of media throughout the years. I agree because I, f I feel like it brings a fresh new look to the industry because now we see um, the corporate people, they um, make it to where it's remakes or reruns and yeah. the same stuff, but now you give people new ideas and new freedoms, people who are not necessarily, uh, they're not uh, custom or they're not traditional audience or traditional makers or traditional content makers. Now they have their own fresh new look to the industry, so I feel like it helps in that way. And I, I would agree. Mm -hmm. I, I definitely see more representation. I see a lot more interest. Mm -hmm. I think it's a, it's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you all for your comments. Thank My you. name is Victoria Clapper, and you all have a wonderful day.